Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zanata Consulting. Uh, my name is Tyler Colt and this video is actually an excerpt from our Click Full Product tutorial that we recorded in November of 2022. Uh, in this excerpt, we're going to run through all the various settings that are in Zoho Click. Um, I sure do hope you find it useful. And if you do, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really helps us out. And please be sure to leave any feedback or questions in the comment section as we do respond to each and every one of those weekly on our podcast, The CRM Zen Show. Thanks again for watching and uh, enjoy. All righty. And so jumping into settings, um, like Brett's mentioning, you know, there's Different than every other Zoho app, we're kind of used to looking for that little cog wheel, but uh, here it is just under your icon. And there are two different types of settings. Uh, one is gonna be available to everyone and the other is only gonna be for admins. So up here at the top, we have this profile and settings section. This is like what each of your users are gonna get to determine for themselves. So here you can change quick things like, you know, do you want it to be default to dark mode or do you want to default to day mode? You can choose basic things about the layout, the color, right? Some of these little views around na uh, navigation and, you know, getting through the application. Um, you know, minor things around how you want multi chats to function, you know, do you only want one at a time versus multiple? They'll also have the ability over here on the left to determine things like their display name, uh, email address is probably set at the company level. Um, you know, under general, right, you can choose basic things around translation modes and, um, you know, kind of how you want it to work across other applications, right? So in many apps, you'll see the little bottom bar, right, that uh, kind of determines if Click is going to show up. So those are really more for the users, right? They're kind of minor things for them to go through and tweak as they get used to the application. Um, more of the settings that I would imagine a lot of you care about here are for the admin users, right? Kind of making determinations about how the fun or how the application is going to function um, and some of the rules and regulations that are going to be in place. So I'll do a quick run through here. We're not going to hit every single one of these, um, but it should give you a good baseline of kind of where to go to look for what you're trying to do. So obviously right out of the gate, out of the top, we've got users. If you're in Zoho One, this is all gonna be managed there. Otherwise you can go ahead and add or deactivate any of your users natively here within Click. Um, inside of Click, we can also set up teams. Uh, teams are just groups of people that you might want to add to certain channels or conversations easily, right? So maybe the marketing department needs to be part of a group conversation but then they're also all gonna be a part of a certain automated channel receiving automated notifications. Um, we don't wanna have to add every user to every channel, so we can just add them to a team and then they'll just fall into those channels naturally. Um, departments really only come into play if you have kind of an interesting setup here for uh, Zoho Click. Most of the time, right, you run everything out of one department and then segment your conversations based on different channels um, you know, and topic-based groupings. Designations, we're going to skip. This is just kind of like a role. Uh, if you wanted to have people have certain roles or kind of like subtexts underneath them. So Tyler Colt, consultant versus developer can set those up under your designations. The organization detail has kind of the common things that if you've seen one of our webinars, you'll probably know most of the things that are going to be in the organization setting, right? You've got your baseline company information. If you want to change, you know, the, the name of the company that's going to show up any of your baseline contact or address information. Under configurations, there's a whole bunch of default settings and rules. We're not gonna cover all of these, but I'll kind of go through and highlight some of them that you might wanna touch on. So you can control things like, you know, inside of conversations, things like what types of things should people be able to upload? Ideally, you're in an organization where you don't have to control uploads, but if you are, you can do that through here can also set certain timeframes and permissions around deleting and editing messages. Um, this one can be kind of nice in the sense that, you know, maybe you've got one day to delete something, but after that, you know, you got to stick by what you said, right? And you can't just delete things from conversations. Um, having the ability to do red receipts, uh, you know, allowing people to turn those on. Again, keeping in mind that these are kind of your settings for the full organization. Um, some specific rules around channels. Right, so you've got different types of channels that we'll cover in a little bit, 
but you can configure what types of replies should people be able to do inside of a channel, basically on should you be using normal replies or threads. We're not going to go too deep into threads on this session today. It's really mostly a preference thing. Um, throughout the rest of these, I'm not going to go super deep on the rest of these settings under configurations here, but essentially these are lots of different defaults options or abilities that you can turn on or off, right? So do I want calendar events as a whole, whereas some other settings are going to give you a, a way to go a little bit deeper and determine certain uh, abilities that you want to enable or disable for people as they go through various, um, you know, usages of the system. Um, here, I'm going to skip down to permission. The rest of these are just going into, you know, some of the nitty gritty that we don't need to cover today. Um, permissions inside of Click are pretty important. So roles, of course, are going to be able to set up who's going to be an admin, right? So who should be able to, um, you know, create new channels, create new threads, um, and really dictate how the setup of the application was done. Whereas members are really more just able to access what they've been permissioned to and use it, but they can't create or edit the configuration of the app. Um, you can also set up custom roles, but they're really not extremely deep, right? So people are really either an admin or they are a member. Um, so the new roles, you know, you could have separate roles to be able to group people a little bit more granularly, but they're not gonna affect much of what is going on inside of the system. Down here under allowed IPs, this one is really, uh, it's there if you need it. Uh, if you do need the ability to restrict IPs where people can only use the application from certain locations, uh, Click actually does support that. If you're on Zoho One, they're gonna ask you because it's, it's gonna tie kind of into the Zoho One administration. So here, this is a Zoho One account where it's saying, hey, do you wanna do this for everything in Zoho or maybe just for Click? Um, and you can decide that here within our allowed IPs. Um, down here under your admins, these are really like some of the baseline settings that you can define for people, um, right? So define some of your initial color palettes. Uh, if you wanted to replace the logo or favicon in here, you can do that, right? So maybe you want to drop in your logo to make it a little bit more personalized. You can also set up custom domains. So if you wanted this to be like chat.zanata.com, you can actually configure a CNAME record and point it over here. This is pretty much the same process. If you've done this for one Zoho app, you have kind of done it for all of them. Um, emailers, or if you wanted uh, to send any notifications from Click and you wanted a non-standard email address for those to come from, you can set those up under here. User fields, or just if you wanted to track any custom information about your users inside of Click. Not a lot of people go down this rabbit hole, but maybe you wanted to give a link to like their LinkedIn or something like that, just natively and click, you can do that here. And then lastly, kind of a fun one, you can add as an admin some custom emojis and stickers that people can use uh, throughout the organization. We have a couple funny ones internally that we like to use um, that do bring us some joy. So I thought I would show this here. And then lastly, we're gonna get back into integrations, but they have a variety of default integrations here inside of Click. I'm covering this now so that you'll see, you'll notice ones that aren't there like Zoho CRM or Zoho Desk. Um, that's just because some integrations are actually set up outside of Click, um, kind of to point uh, data back to Click on a more custom basis. Data administration is pretty minimal, but if you ever do need a full export of Click, you can grab that through data administration. And then reports down here at the bottom, this kind of new inside of Click, there's not a ton of native reporting. But if you are very diligently using remote work, uh, you can actually pull some data out about uh, you know, working hours, any time that people have been checked out, um, and then how much overall time you know, they were working. As again, assuming that you are using the remote work here inside of Click. Outside of that, there isn't too many other settings that we want to jump into now. Integrations and bots we're going to cover in a moment, but I will just highlight you would think that the uh, migration tool from Slack would be under you know, your data administration, but it's actually here as a top level setting. The import from Slack is very, very easy. You pretty much just pull a, pull, a full backup out of Slack and drop it right in here, and then it will recreate just about everything that you had in your Slack account. And with that, I think we've covered kind of the core settings here. You know, As you could see from the pages, there's a lot deeper that you can go but hopefully you'll feel oriented as to kind of where to find certain types of features as you dig in and start to build out click for yourself.